three, two, one. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, man. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are back with Slam Dunk. We got episode 19 last episode. We got a little bit more of crunch time. It was really only about a minute of actual game time, but we finally got the matchup we've all been waiting for. Hanamichi versus Sendo. And Sendo got the cook in our boy. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, to, in, his Sendo defense, in his defense, no one taught Hanamichi how to play defense until Rukawa checked himself back into the game. Shout out uh, Chip Kelly. But they sent the double team at Sendo, and the game is going down to the wire. Yeah, hey man, we say it all the time, what a time to be an anime fan, but in this case, what a time to be a subscriber of this channel, I'm not gonna lie, it's always a move when we get to do these, but it's also a move whenever we get to watch Slam Dunk, I mean, damn, what a game, like he said, it's coming down to the wire, and we gotta keep saying it, we did not expect this, we were underestimating Shohoku's game, but... Truth be told, I don't think Shohoku knew they were this good either. Everything is just kind of gelling together the right way. And this is perfect. This is how you should start your season. Mm -hmm. Like, they were blessed with the opportunity to play against the number ranked four team in the region. But for them to take them all the way down to the wire in their first game of being assembled as a team is amazing. So then you want to talk about the future as a season going forward. It's looking bright. It's looking bright especially with all the plays in this game. I mean, Hanamichi got cooked, but he's been showing out. There's been so many flashes of greatness. Ruikawa's been balling. Akagi is showing that he's generational. And Ko Kogugi, Kogugi is showing that he's a actual respectful player. So, overall, Slam Dunk has been good, but this game has been better. Hell yeah. Like, coming into this game, it was really just Akagi and Rukawa having confidence in their own abilities and being able to hoop at the best of their ability. They feel like they're going to win every game. The rest of the team, not really so much. Kagore, he could see the vision with Hanamichi in the lineup, but Hanamichi wasn't in the lineup. So I was really wondering how this game would actually end up going, let alone, I'm pretty sure they were too. But mm -hmm. I'm sure they shocked themselves just as much as they shocked us because, wow, this is a game. And... The other team didn't even expect it to be a game. So that tells you all you need to know. I mean, they literally called them contenders already in a practice game. So Hell yeah. Hey, man. I'm pretty sure there's only a minute left in this game. So I'm very excited to see how this shit concludes. Hell yeah. I have no idea, which is all the more reason why I'm ready. Hey, man. Let's get it. All right. Good. One minute left. No, we can't win now. No time left. They're gonna be all right. But we're down four points, big sister. Don't call me big sister. No, big sister. Four points in one minute. They call her we big sister. Oh, that's seconds. tough. So that leaves us with one and a half minutes. What do you mean shoot within 30 seconds? It's the 30 second rule. The offense has to make a shot in the next 30 seconds after they gain control of the ball, or it's a turnover. Okay, so that leaves us. So it's not over yet. If we can stop this next attack and get possession, then we can win it. But there's only 50 seconds left in the game. You can do it! Don't let them score! Please, Kaeda! Hanamichi, don't let them score! Come on, Hanamichi. Pluck that nigga. God Damn! Lee. Come on, Hanamichi. I need a little chase down block. Come on. Make a play. Come on. Block that shit. Come on, Hanamichi. I can't reach him. He, he don't dish it, huh? Ooh. There it is. Give me that shit, nigga. Give me that shit! I can't believe that guy managed to 
I knew it was coming. I didn't know if it was gonna be last episode or this one. Yeah. That was so awesome. Ah, that was fantastic, Hanamichi. It's mine. <laughs> That's the true power of a genius. I beat you there, Sendo. Give it to Rokaro, please. Oh wow. Oh man. <laughs> you still haven't perfected your dribbling yet. Four points down. You don't have time, game. I understand you don't like the nigga, but you gotta pass the ball. I'm getting tired. I'm behind you. Pass. Did he give it to him? No way! Yes! Oh, that's a three. That's a three. Hit that. That's a three. Oh, he got the fire and fives on. Ooh. Him, nigga, three. Give me three. He got the fire and fives on. Ooh. Give me three. One point game. Come on. And that's like seven assists for Hanamichi too. Mm -hmm. Why did I pass it to Kaeda? What was I thinking? He's going Is Hanamichi the original point forward? Seems like it for now. Wait till he gets his jump shot down. Okay, Rando Calarissia. What? That's all ball, Gago. That was bad luck. Nice try, Yasuda. I can't watch. Tell me when it's all over. One basket. That's all we need. Kaeda's three pointer was the key. For sure. All right. We can win. See, I'm not going to get into pass, though. That's what I'm saying. All right, guys. Just one more push. Yeah. 30 seconds left. Come on, defense. Defense. Take it nice and slow. We're gonna use as much time as possible to take this next shot. That's right, Uakusa. We're still leading the game. We'll win this, no problem. Rip him. How can he be so calm? He's not even sweating. Man, the guy's just not human. Well, I guess that's why he's the famous Ryonin starting guard. He's great. Nigga, I'm locked in. That's what I'm saying, bro. Somebody pressure the ball. Come on. Come on, Akagi. He don't got no post moves, Akagi. He don't got no post moves. There that nigga that's oh. You're just a big coward. That's right. Don't take any chances. Use the full 30 seconds. Seconds. 15 seconds. Get the ball, nigga. It's ours. Still. Still. Give me that, nigga. Take off. Take off. Take off. Take off. There you go, Jokic. Boom him. You're never gonna make it. No! Haramichi. Oh, good save. Dump it back to Hanamichi. There he is. Oh, is that a cocky? Who is it? One of ours. Please! Please be Hanamichi. 
please. <laughs> Dump that hole. Imagine he smoked it. No Hanamichi. Slam dunk. Hanamichi. All the time. Did he smoke it? Oh, is he gonna go for a layup instead? And lay the ball in the ring. Lay the ball. Lay that bitch, Hanamichi. Lay that bitch for the win. Lay that bitch for the win. The <laughs> Don't smoke a layup for game. His first ever bucket, a game winner. Game time! Hanamichi! Hey, you can just call me Victory Man from now on. Or how about Genius if you like? <laughs> He's such a fool. Wake up, people! No! Oh! Oh! No! 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 There's no, no way. Come on, roll car. No! Oh, oh no! Come on, strap up. There's no way. Oh. He jellied them. He jellied them. Oh. <laughs> and they're full court pressing. Sendo is him. Sendo is him. Nigga, he hang time jelly that hole for game. Sendo is him. That was too close. Good fucking game. Wow. Nigga, my heart is broken. Wow. That just broke my heart, bro. I know it broke all of theirs. Bro, my heart is broken. Wait a second. Oh, Hanamichi. Pass! <laughs> I'm sure there's another five seconds left to play. Oh, Pass. this nigga's broken. Hanamichi? <laughs> I like to see how dedicated he is to the win, though. Damn. Pass! 
it's all over. <laughs> we lost the game. Pass! Hanamichi, it's just the way the game goes sometimes. We lost this one. It's over and we lost. They shouldn't have though. That was just lack of awareness. Good shit. And they recovered too. He made a great play. Like it's not like he just gave him the buck off the fast. Get my niggas some J's. <laughs> Slam dunk, yeah, man. I'm proud of you, Hanamichi. I know that shit hurt. There's no way you can headbutt the ground like that and it doesn't hurt. I don't know, bro. He ran straight into the wall and shaked it off. Thank you for the game, Mr. Taoka. Takanori, you know your team has become so much better in only a year. I'm very He's excited. shaking hands with this Thanks. nigga. It Where is game. Chip Kelly? Mm. Yes. We'll see you at the inner high school games, sir. Takanori. Yeah, they shaking hands this time. Fuck, we will be you at the inter high school games. Remember that. Yeah, in your dreams. <laughs> yeah. Yo. Oh, don't be like that. Hanamichi. <laughs> if you really want to beat me, you'll have to put in some serious training. Sendo. I will. I'll practice till I drop. Because I want to be just like Sendo. Ho, 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 ho. Thank you for the game. No, I should be the one thanking you, Mr. Anzai. It's Chip Kelly, what thank Taoka you. What I really wanted to say was that Shohoku's number 10 would be... Nigga didn't bow back or nothing. But he didn't. He didn't want his team to worry, so he kept it to himself. My team's in for some serious training, so that doesn't happen again. What's he thinking? Like, this coach is an animal. I'm not gonna lie. I fuck with this you know what, old man? You mm. Chip Kelly's dog shit. Sooner. Like, he's gonna really I'm have to put in work to prove me otherwise. That's enough. <laughs> you shouldn't be so hasty, Hanamichi. Huh? We haven't even started yet. <laughs> hey, what's the matter, He squeezed the shit out that nigga hand. That guy nearly crushed my hand. Yeah, he's unbelievable. <laughs> I've seen that pick so many times, and I never knew it was from Slam Dunk. Mm. That background. Okay. Damn. Losing like that. Heartbreaking. I'm not going to lie. From the moment this game started, I had a feeling that Shahoku was going to lose this game. And it was I deeper than just the team's difference, right? I was thinking, like, Shahoku is going to lose this game, so when the run back comes, it's going to hit crazy. But, that happened like, to be the case, but I didn't think they would lose like that. Nigga, I didn't think they were going to be in a, like, you want to talk about not thinking they were going to lose. I didn't think it was going to be a game to begin with. Like, I'm with the other team's coach. I thought they were going to get their shit spanked, but again... Not because they were just jer well, actually, yeah, like nigga, that's the number ranked four team from last year. Mm -hmm. Whereas we heard Shihoku was shysty, it was just Akagi carry. So even with the addition of Rurikawa, I didn't expect it to be that drastic of a difference because it was a great game at halftime. It was a great game all the way through. Like this, the way how the game started is how I thought it was going to be all the way through, low key. Yeah. Even with them stepping up, like the way how it ended, I couldn't have never imagined. But boy, oh boy, was it a movie! The amount of emotions in that moment, 
when Rukawa said, yo, wake up, people, and ran back on D, and they threw the ball in, like, because I was already, I was so happy, damn near about to jump out of my chair, but I told myself, don't jump out of your chair anymore, you're going to rip your fucking headphones out and fuck up the whole video, so I decided I'm not going to do that, but I was happy as hell when Hanamichi got his first bucket as a game supposed to, supposed to be game winner, because I thought the shit was over. Yeah. And then that happens. Like, I'm not going to lie. The fact that they even were able to recover and get back on defense, I'm impressed with that too. But Sendo called game, and it was in a stylish Kyrie Irving fashion. Through the double, two best defenders on Shahoku guarding him at the moment, and he hang time jellied that bitch with the left. Like, uh-huh. At the end of the day, Sendo's just a bucket. There ain't nothing you can do about that. It was good D. It was a good D, and it was great game. It was a great game. Like, wow, wow. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what to take away from this game aside from, well, there's a lot of takeaways. But my thing is I didn't expect slam dunk. Going outside of Shohoku and looking at it from a slam dunk perspective, I didn't expect Slam Dunk to deliver this amazing of a game this early. This game was literally a movie. I don't know how many episodes it was, but it was quite literally a movie. I don't know if every game's going to be like this, but I did not expect this. This is literally the first game, and it's a practice game at that. Like, who would have thought? This is literally the first real basketball that we're seeing because we didn't even see a scrimmage in practice. So, to... For them to deliver like that is amazing. That's the first big takeaway. Then you want to talk about all the other takeaways from Shohoku. Shohoku is ready, man. Like, we see from the thumbnail and just from the intro, there's an extra player that's supposed to come. So we're thinking, like, well, that player is going to be what turns Shohoku into a contender. Shohoku looks ready now. It looks like they don't need that nigga. So I'm wondering... Like, it looks like Shohoku, if that's the number rank four team and they're only going to get better from this, because that's the thing. Shohoku's literally only going to get better. Hanamichi is going to be the key that takes uh, Shohoku to the next level. So, just like that, it looks like they're already about to be dubbing the shit out of teams. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 100%. Like, I'm not going to lie. Just looking at what our starting lineup is looking like, Going into this game, we already knew Akagi was a dog. We knew Rukawa could put the ball in the basket. But we didn't really know, like, with the other people completing the starting five, especially with Hanamichi not being in it, how would that actually look? And the fact that they're going against one of the best teams in the region and they had the game close before Hanamichi touched the court, let alone... This is literally the worst Hanamichi's going to be. Like, he's only going to get better. And they continue to stress to us that he is the fastest learner they've ever seen. Like, Aww. and this is the worst he's going to get. This experience in this game was so valuable to him getting better quick. Like, by the time that first game comes around, he's going to be... I don't... He's not going to be a primary score off rip as fuck, no. But he's, he's not going to get a lay at the end of the game as his only points. I can tell you that. Hell yeah. Like, Let alone defensively. He, like, he got barbecue chicken fried by Sendo, but that Sendo at the end of the day, we just saw what he just did to Akagi and Rukawa at the same time with the game on the line. I mean... And he, he forced so Sendo to earn those points. Yeah, like, it's just when there's a score of that magnitude, it don't matter how much you force. It's like Kevin, it's like Kevin Durant. It don't matter how good a defense you play, the nigga can score. Like, it's basically like that. So, nothing but great takeaways for Shahoku, especially given our expectations coming into this game. Like, we thought it wasn't going to be close. They took it down to the last second. So, shout out to them. Hell and that's yeah. without a coach, too, because fuck Chip Kelly right now. I don't know why. Type shit, type shit. He has to earn the Andy Reid title back. But I'm not going to lie, Slam Dunk is really 
spanking us with fantastic episodes. So just off of that, how would you rate this episode? Ten out of ten. Easily. Easily. No hesitation. Easily. This may have been their best episode. I think it was. Just because the emotional roller coaster in the, those last like twenty seconds from them needing the stop. Akagi actually getting the stop, the outlet pass. Sendo knocks the ball away. Rukawa saved it. Everything from that sequence, Hanamichi's first in-game bucket, and then to turn around and lose 10 seconds later, like mm-hmm. the emotional roller coaster was insane. I didn't think that we would get something like that in Slam Dunk, let alone this early into Slam Dunk. So... Definitely a 10 out of 10 episode. Definitely. I'm right there with you. Like, I really didn't think we would get a movie like this so early. Like, bro, this shit was fantastic. I may have to rerun this episode back. I literally had to stand up out of my chair. Like, Hanamichi was balling, but it wasn't just Hanamichi. It was the whole squad, and they should have won. But Sendo clutched up in a very fantastic manner. And I love the fact that he didn't just... Get the immediate inbound, go down court, score off the fast break game. Nah, instead, Shohoku still got in play. They were still able to play defense. Instead, he still had to earn that game time bucket to the point where you literally can't even be mad at it. All you can say is, damn, he's just that good. Exactly. Like, like, like the is just that good, bro. And especially mm-hmm. seeing Hanamichi break down like that after the game. Like, that nigga was literally glitching on the court. Because he couldn't believe what just happened. like And his shoe just ripped. Hell yeah, so it's finally time to get that nigga some J's. But seeing Hanamichi like that is really showing not only his passion for the game, but also his passion for just winning in general. Because they already said he doesn't like to lose. But now we're actually able to see that in real time. Like, taking this loss really hurt him. So mm-hmm. it's going to be interesting seeing how he bounces back from that. It will, it will, but hey man, that's Slam Dunk episode 19. Hit that subscribe button if you already haven't, and turn on the bell. That way you can be with us for episode 20. Hell yeah, and hit the like button on this video. Let us know that you enjoyed it as much as we did, you know what I'm saying? With that being said, make sure you guys click on our description. There'll be two links waiting for you. One will take you to all of our socials. Sons of Tokyo on every platform. The other one will take you to our Discord. You feel come you? on in. Come on in. You know what I'm saying? Join that Discord. Come vibe out with us. Talk about anything anime, non-anime, sports, movies. It don't matter. But uh, yeah, man. With that being said, SOT out.